The Maven repository, as the name suggests, is a repository of all your artifacts. It contains plugins and metadata that Maven requires. But more importantly, it contains the project-dependent jar files that Maven downloaded from internet from one of the public repository. The default location on Windows for this folder is C users your username slash m dot m2, and the default location on Mac is your root folder dot m2. Out of the box, the dot m2 folder does not contains a settings dot xml file. In the dot m2 folder on your local computer, create a settings dot xml file and copy the content of the skeleton settings dot xml from your maven conf folder. And now we are going to cover some of the elements in this uh, coming lectures about different parts of settings dot xml. What is a pom file and what are the other tags and feature that you can use to configure your Maven? Let's take a look at the different parts of the settings dot xml. The first that you will see on the list is local repository. Maven stores a copy of plugins and dependencies locally under C users your username dot m2 slash repository folder. This element can be used to change the path of the local repository. For example, you may want to save all your local repository in C drive dash desktop and you can use this local repository to define your new repository location and it will change the repository location to the maven repository folder. The next on the list is interactive mode. As the name suggests, when this value is set to true, the default value Maven interacts with the user for the input offline offline is a setting which when set to true tells them uh, tells or instruct the maven configuration to operate in an offline mode and the default value is set to false servers there are hundreds of different public repositories out there that Maven can use to download the artifacts for you. Maven can interact with various variety of servers such as Apache Subversion Server, Build Servers and Remote Repository Servers. This element allows you to specify security credentials such as username and password which you need to connect to those servers. Mirrors as the name suggests, mirrors allow you to specify an alternate location of your repository. For example, one of your repository could be in US, but say if you are in um, East Pacific or Asia Pacific, you would want to download from a repository which is local to Asia Pacific for faster downloads. And hence you can define an alternate to your existing repository which might be in US or anywhere in the world. Profiles. Profiles allow you to group certain configuration elements such as repository and plugin repository. This is a list of profile which can be activated in a variety of ways which can modify the build process. Profiles provided in the settings.xml are intended to provide local machine specific paths and repository location which allow the build to work in the local environment. It can do a lot of other things. For example, Say you have two Java projects and one needs JDK 1.6 and the other needs JDK 1.8 version of Java. By default, you would need to configure Java home settings every single time you build a particular project. However, if you create a profile in Maven, say profile 1.6 and profile 1.8, you can specify that Java version required equal 1.6 and 1.8 and save the trouble of setting the Java home folder again and again. To run a particular profile, all you need to do is maven hyphen p, which stands for profile, profile name, and then complete your maven command, say clean install or clean package. Active profile. Active profiles allow you to specify a default profile to be active for maven to use. 
It is also a list of profiles that are active for all builds. You can have more than one active profile or a list of profile that can be called or used for a certain number of builds or all the builds. So that brings you to the end of this lecture. See you in the next lecture.